This video is about section 9.4, two variances or standard deviations. In this section, we'll compare uh, two population variances by conducting a hypothesis test. Let's look at this homework problem as an example. Researchers conducted an experiment to test the effect of alcohol. Errors were recorded in the test of visual motor skills, visual and motor skills for a treatment group of 23 people who drank ethanol and another group of 23 people given a placebo. The errors for the treatment group have a standard deviation of 2.10 and the errors for the placebo group have a standard deviation of 0.74. Use a 0.05 significance level to test the claim that the treatment group has errors that vary significantly more than the errors of the placebo group. Assume that the two populations are normally distributed. First, let's look at the claim. What is the claim? The claim is that the treat group, treatment group has errors that vary significantly more than the errors of the placebo group. So the claim says the variances from the first group is more than the variances of the second group. To represent it in symbolic form, it will be sigma 1 squared is greater than sigma 2 squared. With our claim, it's easy to find our non-hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. The non-hypothesis is always the one with the equal sign, so A is definitely not it. Right? And uh, you want to find... Uh, it looks like D is the answer with the null hypothesis with the equal sign and h1 is the same as the claim. Okay. Now let's see what else we know from the problem. Looks like here we have two samples, sample 1 and sample 2. Sample 1 is the treatment group. The sample size is 23. Sample 2, the sample size is also 23, coming from here and here. All right, and also says in sample 1, which is the treatment group, they have a sample standard deviation of 2.1. So what we know is the sample standard deviation, which we use S1, that is equal to 2.1. And for the other sample standard deviation, S2, that is 0 0.74. Okay, and then another thing they tell us is alpha is 0 0.05. Okay, so that's all we know from the problem. Now we can use what we have uh, to find the test statistic. Actually, the test statistic for this kind of test, comparing two variances or two standard deviations, is F. Well, this could be found using StatCrunch. So here's StatCrunch. We'll go under Stat. And since we're comparing two variances, go to Variance Stats. And we're comparing two samples, not one sample, but two samples. And we got summary here when you're given data press with data but here we're given summary so press with summary okay so sample one the variance if we go back to the problem we can see we do not know the sample variance uh, we do know the sample standard deviation so the sample variance could be found by squ squaring the sample standard deviation which is 2.1 squared. You don't have to evaluate that. The system will do the calculation for you. 
We know the sample size is 23 for both samples. And the sample variance for the second sample is 0 0.74 squared. Since we're trying to construct a test, come to the hypothesis test part. Okay, here it says H naught sigma 1 squared divided by sigma 2 squared. What does it mean? If you look at your non-hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, what they wrote was actually dividing sigma 2 squared on both sides. So the H naught becomes sigma 1 squared divided by sigma 2 squared equals 1. And H1 here becomes sigma 1 squared divided by sigma 2 squared uh, that is greater than 1. So we will put this in stack crunch. Okay, so equals 1 and greater than 1. Okay, compute. So over here we have our F stat, which is 8.053. So I put 0 8.05 okay, as your test st statistic. And your P value is. Here it says less than 0 0.0001. Okay, so if you round it to three decimal places, that will be 0 0.000, which is really, really low, right? It's pretty obvious this value will be less than your uh, alpha, right? Which is 0 0.05, it's way less than alpha. So here we can reject the null hypothesis. Maybe this one there is sufficient. Okay, so you choose D. Reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim, whatever the claim is.